Released in 2019, Satisfactory Early Access is created by Swedish video game developer Coffee Stain Studios. It is a first-person open-world exploration and factory-building game where the player, a pioneer, is dropped onto an alien planet with a handful of tools and must harvest the planet's natural resources to construct increasingly complex factories for automating all resource needs. The initial goal is to build a space elevator and begin supplying the company the player works for, Fixit Incorporated, with increasingly numerous and complex components for their unknown purposes. Thanks for joining me, guys. This game I bought in 2019, and I only have maybe two hours into it, five years ago. I wanted to bring you along, and I wanted to check it out again. This game was really cool then, and since then, they have continuously built on it. They're still working on it. They just released a video six days ago on YouTube about optimizations and other game modes, and we're going to check it out. Welcome to Satisfactory Early Access, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. So let's see, we're going to go through a few things. This is AGS mode, I was dicking around with it. I got maybe 40 minutes into it. AGS mode, advanced gaming uh, settings. That's where you can turn on everything. You don't have to worry about resources. It's basically free build. God mode, fly mode, stuff like that. And uh, it's entertaining, but it defeats the purpose of playing an actual game. So we're gonna join a new game. We have grass fields, rocky desert, Northern Forest and Dune Desert. We're gonna go with grass fields because it's the easiest one. So down here, you can select your session type, private or friends only. And then here is advanced game settings. Now, it works great, but if you turn this on, on this particular save, you can't go back. So if you're gonna do this, make sure that this save is specific for this uh, game playthrough on that save. <clears throat> Excuse me. Otherwise, you're stuck with these settings. You can see it right here. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna play a normal game. Maybe later down the loan uh, down the line, we can jump in and do the just the free build uh, free build mode. But for right now, we're gonna just start a normal game. We're gonna do not wooble. It's Wobble. Pop. Gaming. Okay. We're not going to skip the intro. We'll see the intro the whole way through. And that's it. Let's start the game. Attention Pioneer, the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized.
Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Yeah, Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. Bless you. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations! Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to, onboarding. Okay, onboarding, alright. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. Okay, so they like recycling. What am I doing? Oh, uh -huh. okay, just read, right? Dismantle the drop pod, press F. Oh, now we're really stuck here. Um, okay, did that. All important fix-it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. This place looks great, and we're on 1080p. Uh, let's see, what, here, I'll just show you the settings. Uh, video, 1080p, full screen. Most everything's on Ultra. And this AMD garbage, because that's what my card is. Ah, what is that? That's pretty friggin' amazing. Okay. I don't know, uh... Okay, I guess read. All tutorial messages and emails will be saved to the codex. Press O to open the codex. Tutorials. We already did that. Did that. All important fix-it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note: According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Okay, so we have threats. All right, so press tab to open the inventory. Drag and drop equipment to the hand slot to equip it. Further instruction on how to use the inventory are listed below the menu. Tab. Okay. Oh. 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 Taser. Yeah, Third touch it. That's good. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Okay, press V to scan for nodes. What is this? Barrel nut. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Yes, ma'am. What are you? Pick up blue slug. This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay. We're not quite there yet, though. I don't even know what the MAM is. Uh-oh. That kind of looks like a baddie, doesn't it? Should we go investigate? Are you a baddie? 
Oh, oh, you are a baddie. Yeah, you are. Ah! What the crap? Oh, fuck it. Get. No. Come here. Where are you going? Oh, you're not. What? What? Oh my god, what are you doing? Nope. Shit. Um, bad. Bad, ugly dog. Oh my god. Frickin' nailed it. I wasn't panicked at all. The Here. remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, ma'am. Press V to scan for iron nodes. The location of scanned resources... The location of scanned resource nodes will appear on the HUD compass. Hold E to gather resources from the resource nodes and deposit. Hold V. Uh, iron ore. Oh. Holy shit. Or one of the closest ones. Looks like probably over here. Those are three and four hundred. Saw stuff down here though. Oh, there's another power slug. Can we pick it up? Nice. All right, well, let's go over here. Why did the nodes disappear on my screen? Do we have to do it again? Oh, there's a bunch of them. What am I hearing? Oh, no, it's a baddie. Oh, shit. Come here, you son of a bitch. No, oh, fuck. He got me. Come here, fucker. Yeah, that's what I thought. And you ugly bastard. Alright, nodes disappeared again. Probably find them, though. Dude, yeah, this looks great. And it's running great, even on my garbage PC. And here's iron. Ah! Okay. Okay, you wanna go? Come on, let's go. Come on. All right, let's go. Oh, fucking taser your ass. That's what you get. Can't tell what you look like. I mean, obviously you're an entity, but kind of like an armadillo mated with a... Salamander or something? I don't know. All right, this must be the iron. Let's see what else is around. Okay, there's a whole bunch of it here. Oh, damn. Kind of want to go down there. There's another baddie. There's a shit ton of iron down here. Oh, well, we're good. Yeah, we're going down there. Screw this little hill. It gets nothing compared to what's down here. Do we have fall damage? No. No, we don't. Saw baddie. Where's he at? Where is he at? There he is. Let's get this baddie out of the way. Nope. Ah, they're not so easy to defeat now. Sweet. Yeah, we could build here. It's nice and flat. Ish. There's another baddie over there. This looks great. Okay. Um, let's see. We did that. And now we have to gather resources. Uh. That rhythm. Fourth objective. Build the hub. Note. Okay. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Okay. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. 
Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Okay. Does that rhythm remind anybody of anything? Ready? Watch or listen. Okay. Reminds me of something. We will, we will rock you. Alright, so now we gotta build a hub. Hub can be found on the build menu by pressing Q. Further instructions on how to use the build menu are listed below the menu. Q. There's the hub. Oh, oh, what the crap? Wait, what? Okay. Um, where are we building this hub? How about right here? Right at the entrance. You stay away from me, baddie. We're not dealing with you yet. I don't know if this is a good place or not. It's going right there. No. You son of a bitch. Fucking busy. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective. Complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Wait, there's two more baddies over there. Dude, this place is riddled with threats. Not very threatful, though. What the hell is that? What's oh, another glow bug? Alright, hub upgrades and their costs can be found and activated in the hub terminal. Parts like iron rods can be crafted at the craft bench in the hub. Okay, so we need to do this. We need iron rod. Okay. Um, craft bench. Oh, iron rod. Iron ingot. How do I craft? Um, oh, space. There we go. We're crafting. We're crafting things. Get some iron rods and then upgrade the hub. Okay, that's enough. Well, so far this game, I don't remember much of this game. So I'm pleasantly surprised uh, that it runs as good as it does. Then again, it has been in early access and development for five years. If you guys want to see this as a series, let me know. We'll see how far we can get. I know this game gets very, very uh, complex as far as building certain things and where to place them. And uh, there's like platforms and space elevators and all kinds of cool shit. All right, let's see. Um, hub one. Put those in there. Oh. oh, we got stuff. Oops. Congratulations, you have unlocked building workshop, equipment portable miner, inventory additional slots, hub feature personal storage. Sixth objective complete hub upgrade to note portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we can put multiple miners on one node. Okay, that's cool. I want the glow bug. Blug? Glow bug? Can we get there? Oh, here he is. It, she, the, bug. Power slug. Nice. I don't know what the hell they're used for, but I wanted it. Alright. Yep. Makes me want to play that song now. We will, we will rock you. 
Okay, so we gotta put down... Let's see. Production. How do I do that? Where do I craft those? Probably the workbench. No. The equipment workshop used to craft equipment like the portable miner. But a miner can be placed nearby. Okay, reminder press Q to the build menu. Production. Oh, the workshop. That's what I need. What do I need? The hell? Plates? Ah, uh, yes. We got the plates. Let's um, put down the equipment workshop. I don't know where I want this thing. Let's see. What are the... Okay. Snap to grid lines. Hold left control. Why can't I put it closer? That, that's fine. Nice. It'd be nice if it was closer, though. That's fine. There it is, portable miner. Um, you know what? Let's just make a couple of them. So we get more ingots, more plate, and more rod. build these. We can build three. Might as well. Craft. We got three of these, then we'll go place them down. And they can do all the mining for us. Okay. Press Q to build menu. Stuff and things. Okay. No baddie. No baddie sneaking up on us. So, inventory. How do we have four? And then what? Just place it down? Oh yeah, there it is. I'll be damned. That's cool. I wonder if these nodes last forever. Cool, look at this. No, 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 no. Oh, sweet. Okay, grab all. Nice, okay. Building can be dismantled without any loss of the resources. Press F for dismantle mode. We don't need that. Um, upgrade to hub 2, which takes what? What does that take? Oh, well, that's simple enough. We just need more iron rod. So we'll craft all these and get some more iron rod and get to upgrade level 2. That's so far I'm enjoying it. Let's see how long my attention span lasts, though sure notice most of you have noticed I get sidetracked a lot oh wait we need eight more
And usually the first episode or maybe like a first look upload is... I don't do a whole lot of editing just because, well, it's a first look, right? There's nothing to really edit out. Everyone wants to see everything. Hub upgrade two. Put those in there. Go. Nice. I might have to move this later. I don't know if this gets walled in or not. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass burner. Scanner feature copper. New buildings and recipes which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Seventh objective. Complete hub upgrade three. Note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, uh. automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, why is everything pink? What's happening? Is this like a weird storm? Is it going to harm me? I don't know. Super strange. Okay. Oh man, it's all over the place. Okay. Let's see. Hold V to select which resource to scan for. Iron. Oh, we're doing copper now? It's not too far off. It's the only one. Oh, whoa. Those are really far. I guess we'll go here. Oh, uh, let's see, hold on. Um, hold B to scan for resource. Buildings like the smelter require a recipe to be selected and power to function. The biomass burner located on the hub generates power by consuming biomass. Thought that was a baddie. Uh, wooden leaves, power generators, and most buildings only have a single power line connection. All right. Wow, this looks kind of cool up here in the shadows. Um, v. We got two of them. Where in the hell are they? Are they down there? Oh, yeah. They are. Um. Oh shit, we need to make the, uh, whatchamacallit? The miners. It's getting dark. Okay, come over here. We need plate. Get some ingots going, then we'll get some plates going, some more rod, and then we'll build a couple of those miners and then go set them on the uh, copper, copper ore deposit. Get some iron plate. I forgot how many we need. It's probably not enough for two of these. Um. Nope. Nope. Yeah, two. All right, we'll do that. We'll stick with that for now. No, wrong one. Put the glow plug. Glow. I keep <laughs> calling it a glow plug. Uh, probably put our weapon back on. Copper is way the hell over here. All damage? Nope. Okay, there's probably baddies down here, right? No, there isn't. Uh-oh, it's you. You look pretty, but sound scary. Alright, let's get this out of the way. song will forever be stuck in my brain now. You know, we'll just put them both right here. Let's 
Sweet. Harvest this real quick. Alright, what is this over there? What is this? Oh, radiation. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um, steer clear of that for a little while. Grab that. And we'll grab that. Should be good to go on copper, at least for a moment. How do I know where base is? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, so far this game's really bitching. I like it. Okay, let's see. Hold B to select. We did that. Buildings like the smelter require a power source. You know what? I think... Let's grab those. I think we put these in here, maybe? No. Strange slug radiating and a weak strange power. Okay, we can't put that in there. Okay. We're gonna put those back. We have ingot. Okay, let's craft some ingots. Oh, so we can make copper wire or wire and cable. Not sure what material we need for the cable. All right, let's see. Biomass burner located. Okay, generator. So we need a smelter. Require a recipe to be unlocked. What do we have? We have a smelter and we have power lines. I don't know where we're supposed to build all this. I mean, what do I need for it? Oh, we need wire and... It looks like, what, iron rod? Yeah. Wire. Oh, there's how you do the cable. Make the wire and then you get the cable. And iron... Iron ingots for iron rod. Okay, let's see what it takes for hub three. Oh, that's pretty simple. And then we can make a constructor, a power pole, concrete, screw. Reinforced iron plate. Scanner upgrade. Limestone. I suspect that's to make the concrete. Alright, that's cool. I don't know where to put the smelter. I'm sure there's like some crazy logistics with this game. But I mean, since all the stuff and things are over here... I mean, couldn't we just... Put it wherever, right? How about right here? Okay, we have a smelter. <laughs> Making moves, I guess. Let's come collect the stuff. Oh, holy crap, we have a ton of iron now. All right, biomass. I imagine that's, yeah, the trees. Let's collect all the bushes. I wonder if we can actually take down the trees. Maybe eventually. And I don't know how much of this we actually need. That's probably efficient. Good enough for now. No connection. One leaves is... 
80 per minute. That's 0.8 seconds. What is the wood? Each one lasts five seconds. Huh. Okay. Well, let's start with the leaves, I guess. And then what? Hot bar. Two. Okay. Oh, we need cable. Craft a couple cables. Okay, that's more than a couple. That's fine, though. I'm sure we'll end up needing them. Oh. Well, that's ugly as sin. Alright, so what is this thing doing now? It is working, I guess. Yeah. Yep, it's grinding away. Nice, okay. And then we put... What? What do we do with this? Okay. We put copper in here. Oh, sweet. And it's just making ingots for us. All right. That's good to know. Good to have. Let's put the plants and stuff in here. Don't need those on us. What's next on the list? Buildings like the smelter require power. We did that. Power gener generators, single power line. We just need to upgrade. We need 10 plate, 10 rod, and 10 wire. So we'll let the smelter do its thing. We'll come over here and manually do it for now. So we need 10 of each. And we'll do copper ingot. I think we only need a 10, but... Just craft them all. We need 10 plate. So 20 total. Damn it, we need more rod. Okay, a little bit more of this. 10 of these. Should be able to get up upgrade 3. Oh yeah. Oh, we got lights now. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanner feature, limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Eighth it. objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Okay, power poles, got it. What is this? Uh, absolutely nothing. Can't interact with it. Fix it. Wait, is there moose here? Or is that just a picture? I don't know. Maybe one day we'll find out. Alright, let's see. Power poles can be used to connect multiple buildings to the same power grid. Buildings like the constructor require a recipe to be selected and power to function. Reminder, data on recipes and buildings can always be accessed by the codex, which is opened by pressing O. So we need to upgrade to hub 4. We need concrete to do that. Oh, conveyor belt is level 4. What do we get on this one? Oh, the constructor. Let's see. That takes reinforced iron plate. So 
screws and iron plate. All right, that seems simple enough. How do you make screws? Copper? Um, I don't know. Oh, iron rod. We need iron rod for the screws. Holy shit. Okay. Damn. Reinforced iron plate. We need 12 screws. How many iron plates did we need? Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Stupid. Constructor. Nope. Stop. Oh, we only need two. Alright, that's good. Should be simple enough to make. And then iron plate. Shit. How about now? Can we make two? No. Why? Why can't we make two? Oh, we can. Stupid. Yeah, we should have two, right? I think we have two. Let's see, constructor. What am I missing? No, we need one more. There it is. All right, now we can do the constructor, and we'll probably just put it right over here in front of this thing. Oh, son of a bitch, man. Like, I get so ahead of myself, I don't look, I don't read. We need cable. We'll just craft it all. Constructor. How do I make it snap? That would... Why are you doing that? Uh, left control. That's... Not straight at all. Let's start that over. How about that? That looks straight. Okay, get rid of that. Go back to Q and Constructor. I can't see nothing. What if I just stood here? How do I keep doing that? Um, yeah, it looks straight. Straight enough. We need a conveyor belt, though, and I don't think we can make that. No. We can take all of this, though. Put some more in there. We want this thing to make... How about iron plate? Oh, it needs power. Let's see, so we gotta do... We need three wire and... Is that concrete? Yeah, concrete. We need limestone for that. All right, where's the limestone? Very long ways away. Looks like... This one's the closest.
Where in the hell is it? Please tell me it's not further down. Oh my god. Okay, we don't want to go down there. Is this limestone? Uh, yeah, it is. What the hell? Got to bring the uh, miner, so there's that. That should be enough to get some concrete going, though. This game is pretty cool, man. It's chill. It kind of, sort of reminds me a little bit of Lightyear Frontier, just a tad. Concrete. Hell yeah, let's just make it all. Uh, what else did we need for this? We need three copper wire. Or three wire. Now we should be able to build that power pole. I don't know if there's a specific place to be put in this stuff. Oops, uh, one. I guess we can just put it wherever we want. Alright. Okay. I think we're just attaching wire. No. No. How come that's not working? Do I have to dismantle this? And then rewire it to... Probably to that, and then this. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I get it now. Friggin' sweet. Alright, I think that's... We got a good idea on what this game's gonna be about. If you want to see more, let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. I think I want to continue this. This has definitely got vibe I like. So if you do want to see more, please like and subscribe. That would be great. It lets me know you guys do want to see more. I'm not posting as often as I was, but, uh, you know, you know, real life stuff and things work. Daily shit gets in the way. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining me. This is Wild Pop Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.